Earlier this week, Channel 2 News talked with Boise State geologist Chuck Meisner, who brought out samples of rock from inside the dome of Mount St. Helens. Meisner brought over slides of what the inside of the dome looks like. And we get a report now from Channel 2's Paul Hansen. Boise State geologist Chuck Meisner will be writing his master's thesis on Mount St. Helens. So far, he's collected over 600 pages of handwritten notes on the volcano. Last Monday, Meisner was flown inside the dome on the mountain and today brought us slides of the inside of the volcano. I found it not to be as hot as we ex has expected it to be. Uh, one of the reasons for going in there was to see if it was possible to go in and get the samples. And uh, we flew around the dome several times, uh, checking out uh, how hot it was going to be. And we found out that it was extremely hot right in the center, right where the crack is. You could see the heat waves coming off of it, and uh, the helicopter even faulted. You know, the engine started conking out a little bit, and we lost a lot of the lift because of the heat coming off of it as we flew over the center of the dome. Is it possible for you to relate how you felt inside that dome? Boy, once I got in there, all I could think about was uh, uh, getting my samples and uh, getting the heck out of there because uh, after about a minute and a half, which that's about how long it took me to go down from the helicopter to the dome itself, uh, there's being no oxygen at all in there. Uh, I couldn't breathe while well, I was breathing, but uh, just taking deeper and deeper breaths and starting to get woozy and, and uh, fainty feeling. Meisner collected samples of rock like this one. He says the rock is made up of silicon and magnetite and is higher in silica than expected. The rock samples are being studied by Portland State University geologists. In Portland, Paul Hansen, Channel 2 News.